So a lot of guys ask me, Levi, what is the first mod I should do to my diesel truck? And the answer has always been the same, buy a fast. Okay, first things first, I have to give a big thanks to Fast and specifically Jake at Fast for sending out this fuel pump as well as the hat, a shirt, the plate, some stickers, all that stuff. Really appreciate you guys. Let's hop into the truck and see what the stock fuel pressure is like. All right, so we are in the dually and I wanted to show y'all just the fuel pressure while it's idling and then we'll take it for a spin so y'all can kind of get a baseline run of, you know, how the stock fuel pressure is. So this is stock fuel pressure right here. So as you can see, we're kind of around 13 PSI or so. We give it like a little rev, kind of goes down a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's take it for a quick spin. All right, as you can tell, that stock fuel pressure is not great at all. So let's jump back into the garage and let's start unboxing the fast. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this real quick so just to show y'all what comes in the box. So we have all of our fittings, of course, draw straw, everything we need to install it. We have our wiring harness here. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. We have all of our tubing. Um, got some paperwork. Thanks Fast for sending out the little plate and the sticker because this is definitely going to go on there. Also, this is signed and it's one of 300 plates. So pretty psyched to throw that on the dually for this. And then we have our actual unit. Fast 165. Their titanium series with Whisperer technology. So we have that. Of course, both of our filters, and then finally, just the brackets to install it. So yeah, that is what comes in the box. So the reason why I recommend people to buy a fast first is because honestly, today fuel quality is not great. And you wanna protect your injectors and ultimately you wanna protect your engine. Plus, having the ability for more horsepower in the future is awesome. This uh, Titanium 165 will support up to like 800 horsepower. I've done that on my red truck, made 830 with my Fast 165 there. So it's just an all around great upgrade, protects everything and gives you the ability to have a lot more power. So as far as the install on this, what we're gonna be doing basically is, we're not putting a sump on this today, unfortunately, we might do that later but we're gonna drop the fuel tank, pull the fuel pump out, and then we're gonna install the draw straw into the fuel pump, and then we're gonna show y'all how to install it, and then we're gonna show y'all the before and after. Before, when you like really give it a lot of throttle and really like are pushing the engine hard, you can just see that the fuel pressure just goes down significantly. With the fast, it should stay at a really nice constant, I believe like 15 to 18 PSI. So I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to see if there's some power gains as well. So we got it unboxed. We got the truck here ready to go. Let's get to work. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Did you know 82% of y'all are not subscribed? So do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get back to the video. All right, so we switched underneath the truck. First thing we're gonna do is disconnect these, uh, these fuel lines. It is very dirty in here. All right, so now looking at our fuel pump here. But yeah, basically you're gonna wanna disconnect everything from here. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the wiring for it. So got that disconnected and then we just need to disconnect the other two 
fuel lines, the fuel and the return. Wow, that just came off. Nice. <laughs> and that also just came off. Great. <laughs> they just both came off that easily. I feel like they should have some sort of clip. Yeah, so y'all can see this here. This is the pump. You know, took that little connector off and then the two fuel lines there. All right, so now that everything is disconnected, we have the wiring disconnected, we have the fuel feed and return disconnected, and also the fill disconnected over there, uh, we should be ready to uh, start pulling this thing off. It's pretty simple. Um, we, have, we have a bolt here to take down, and then there's one over there we also have to take down. We're gonna get a jack for this as well. All right, so we got the tank out. It was honestly pretty simple, to be honest. Scrubbed at least that area down a little bit. You really don't wanna get any of this junk in your tank. So now buddies over here are gonna to try to break this loose. There it is, nice. It's nice and simple, and then buddy, just as you lift it out, kinda of be careful not to try to get any dirt in the tank. Oh yeah, so there's that. All right. Yeah. There it is. Fuel filter is out. And don't lose that gasket though. Very nice. And just like that, your fuel pump is out. We're gonna throw a cover over that and then we'll start uh, modifying our pump. So we have our fuel pump out here. We have it on the bench. First things first, per the instructions, is you wanna disconnect the old fuel pump have there, it's disconnected, and then we have to take the rest of these off. So I guess you just cut along there. Oh yeah, this thing cuts easily. So there's that one, there we go, yeah. okay. And then we need to, I guess, pull these out too. Yeah, pull up. There it is. Bingo. A piece of tubing out. Now we just need to move the fuel pump. Loading. Safety glasses, guys. <laughs> As I'm not wearing them. Yes. Get it out. You gotta pull this screen off. Saying, oh, there, there we go. There it goes. Okay. So there's that piece. You can see all the junk in there. So now what we're doing is you have to cut these off and kind of make it flush. Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. Okay, so we had to run to the store to get this little hole saw bit at seven eighths. And basically where you're gonna drill this is this hole right here. how clean it is. We've officially destroyed a fuel pump. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as you'll see, that goes in there. Perfect. Just got sanded. Um, yeah, and so we're gonna put the second return line here per the instructions. Yeah, not it bad. Looks like, there it is. Gotta clean up around it a little bit. Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you doing Okay, so got this kind of drilled out cleaned up pretty good the next step is installing the fittings onto these so we have our fittings here teflon tape already installed they recommend to put it in a vise tighten both of them up and then we'll get us a uh, a wrench and tighten this up good excited about the k-state game it's gonna start at five tnt yeah tnt no one cares <laughs> 
You might be right for those. All right, y'all, get this. I partnered with LMP Gear to bring y'all an awesome discount code. Use LM10 to get 10% off anything on their store. Whenever you buy anything, it also gets you entries to win Rosine, the second gen that they are giving away April 16th. Also, we're gonna be dropping a merch line. Yes, I'm gonna be getting my own LM Diesel merch line through the LMP Gear store. Whenever you buy any of that gear, that will also get you entered to win Rosine. So, good luck to everybody and enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so we're making some great progress on this fuel pump. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to install the draw straw on the fuel pump. Also, we're gonna finish cleaning it up. So we gotta do some measuring on the tank, so I'll show y'all how to do that. All right, so here is our fuel pump. As you can see, we have both of our fittings installed there, and then we have all of the kind of internals removed, that being, you know, these hoses and the, actual, the old pump and all that stuff. So. Yeah, so the next thing is we gotta just get the draw straw in here. Okay, so the way that we're gonna do this per the FAST instructions is we're gonna get a tape measure out and we're gonna measure from the bottom of the tank to the top of the O-ring seal. Once we do that, we're gonna take our fuel pump here and we're gonna compress it to the same measurement. Once we do that, we're going to then get our draw straw here and then measure that to where there's about an eighth of an inch uh, clearance of it inside this basket here. Um, I'm also, just because I watched some videos online on this, I'm also gonna put a slight beveled edge on this as well. From what I've been told, that really helps to eliminate the whole like quarter tank, like eighth tank uh, running out of fuel issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get these measurements and uh, put this all together. Okay, so here we go. This is kind of our current setup. Did my best to kind of copy the instructions, uh, exactly how they did it. Got it all measured out correctly, I believe. Got it all zip tied up. So yeah, as you can tell, you, this thing will have to compress a little bit. So as it compresses, it should sit right perfectly in the tank. We did a lot of double checking on the measuring. That should be good. So now we're gonna go ahead and install this into the tank and see how we did. All right, so we got it in. It appears to be good. Um, all of our measurements are correct. We should have about like an eighth inch to a quarter inch of like room below the actual tube. So we should be pretty good. If, uh, if my measurements were incorrect, I will buy a sump. <laughs> so we got our little fittings installed here. I'm gonna leave them on just like this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it back uh, under, up underneath the truck and then I'll kind of measure out the fuel line um, afterwards. It should be pretty easy just because that fuel line will just slide on because those are really nice quick, uh, quick connects there. So yeah, let's go ahead and slide this back underneath the truck and hopefully I measured right. Get loose with a gun, get loose. So this is you, and this is the guy she told you not to worry about. So we're gonna start setting up our fast here, and we have these two fittings that we need to install. This one right here will go on right there, and then this one goes right there. Also, we're gonna install it on the vise so it'll be easy to get them tight. All right, so got these installed. Went in pretty easy, pretty well. Got them pretty tight, so those definitely should not be coming off. Okay, now I'm gonna go grab the brackets and install the brackets onto the fast. All right, so we got this first bracket installed here. If you're following along, I've done a good job of doing this, but if you're following along, this is an 11 millimeter bolt. Um, this, I just used a crescent wrench on, and then this big one right here uh, is a 22. So now we just gotta mount the bracket underneath the truck. All right, so we got the bracket installed on the truck. Pretty simple, but just so you know, that bolt that the camera's struggling to focus on, that one's a 17. Came out 
pretty easy. Just use an impact and then you literally just screw it back in there. And then there's a little grommet as well to help dampen vibration. So remember to put that in as well. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and install the fast on the truck. All right, we got our fast installed here. So I might adjust it a little bit, but yeah, basically these were all 14 millimeter bolts. So got those tight. There's a little rubber grommet in between there to eliminate some uh, vibrations from the truck to the pump. All right, so now I'm going to connect the fittings and run some fuel line. Yeah. Hey, look, pressure on my shoulder, still I lift. Uh, I've been sending prayers since my cousin worked the shift. Uh, moving with the brightest, know the touch probably the mightest. If I exit, I'm excited because my father up in here. Uh. So here we have our two fuel lines going over to the fast here. Looking nice and new and pretty. Got the return mounted right here. And then we have our one that'll be heading up to the engine, which I have to clean that up some, as you can tell. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and plumb that line into the CP3 itself. So if we look in here, you can see where I connected my line right there. This is the fitting that shows fuel pressure. So I was able to connect to that, had a little extra there, so I'll probably route that a little better. And then of course it connects to the injection pump. Okay, so now we're gonna start wiring this whole thing up and then we're gonna test this thing out. All right, so here is our wiring harness here. We have a relay that we'll be mounting that will connect there. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect all this up to the battery and all of that. So, let's get started. All right, so we got all of our wiring installed here. Gotta love these terminals because you can just put the wiring right in and then we have our little relay back up in here, just kind of tucked away real nice. And then of course the wiring is just kind of going, running underneath the truck back to the fast. So as you can tell here, we are back under the truck. Just wanted to kind of give you all some final thoughts on how this all hooked up. So this is actually the original return line from the engine. So I ended up plumbing that back in because fun story, if you don't do that, it'll shoot uh, fuel everywhere. <laughs> so plumbed that back in and then for the wiring harness, really like how they did this, honestly. Basically, before it was like you had to basically like wire it into the ignition switch, but now their new wiring harness just plugs right in to the old one and then it plugs into the fuel pump and it's activated by the fuel pump's stock wiring harness. So super nice, super easy. Literally it is just plug and play. And then it, you know, the wires run over to the fast over there. And then they all end up running just along there. All right, it is all hooked up. So we're gonna fire this thing up here and see what happens. And look at that fuel pressure. Look at that. About 17 PSI. A lot better. All right, so the truck started, runs good. Just wanna double check that everything worked. Now we have to delete the old fuel filter. So we have this, this is uh, this little thing here. Got it from Amazon, pretty cheap. One of the cheapest ones I've seen. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try and, and uh, Remove the fuel filter and then install this guy. All right, here's our old fuel filter and it is out. Feels good to get that thing out and to get our new one in. Speaking of that, there is our new fuel filter, fully installed, looking good there. It's pretty simple, basically there's just a line on this side and a line on the other side that you have to remove. Pull the old fuel, the old fuel filter out and then you install that guy. Okay, now that we have everything installed, let's go hop in the truck and see how it does. All right, we are cruising in the dually. Just gonna give you all a little bit of a uh, fifth gear roll on just so you can see the fuel pressure with the fast.
Okay, so it did really good. Honestly, with my time driving it, I haven't seen it go below like 15 PSI. This thing has been a major upgrade and has helped out a lot as far as fuel pressure and clean fuel. As far as the fast itself, it is super quiet, especially compared to my old red truck. So, it is awesome. I'm really enjoying this product. All right, thank you to everyone who made this video a possibility, and I appreciate y'all watching. I will catch y'all in the next one.